we conduct a pen test from the inside. I said it as a joke, but it is very similar to an external network assessment in that you're assessing each endpoint and the network services that they have exposed for misconfigurations. I think the biggest difference is that on an external assessment, there's a lot of testing the ways that people can sign on from the outside, and there's OSINT that you would do to determine your targets. On the internal, all of that is you're going against what the policies of the domain specifically are. It's also a lot easier to grab users sure. if you're like domain joined. Instead of being like, oh, does their O365 lock you out after a certain amount of failed password attempts or do they have MFA handled on the external network? You're looking at like the domain password policy and how they kind of handle that stuff internally. Because there can often be mismatches on like how logins and employee behavior is treated originating from the inside as opposed to coming outside, which is a big reason that a lot of EDRs don't catch us is because they get configured, but then they're too lenient. It's like, oh yeah, Johnny's failed to log in five times, but he's just a forgetful guy and it's coming <laughs> from the inside. So how bad can it be? That's kind of what it is the assumption is that you're trying to emulate compromise on the network so you're doing this under the assumption that someone clicked on a phishing email and now you have a threat actor who's pivoted into the internal network where can they go from what can they do